y'all. Let's go get some more money. Let's get this money from American Express, y'all. All right, I love Amex, okay, for this reason. What you want to do first when applying for American Express, I repeat, listen closely, okay? Do not, I repeat, do not get a charge card first, meaning gold card, platinum card, the traditional green card. The reason being, those cards will not show a limit on your credit so therefore it won't help your utilization at all okay so what you want to do is get a credit card not a charge card the charge cards are those gold platinum cards okay so initially you may let's say for an example do not again get a business card get a personal line credit first okay not a business the reason being when you get a personal credit card First, with American Express, your very first card will be what you call a hard pull from Experian or TransUnion or possibly Experian and TransUnion initially. However, every card after that, they no longer pull your credit. I repeat, come on, y'all. They do not repeat your do your pull your credit again. So you can get 12 credit cards with American Express off one hard pull. That's go, y'all. So what you want to do first. Is get again a, char a personal card first, i.e., let's say you got a blue cash card, and that cash card was twelve thousand dollars. Okay, you can get in the first ninety days two credit cards, meaning not charge, but two credit cards. But guess what? You can also get two charge cards. So you can have a gold and a platinum, and a Hilton and a Delta. I'm not saying you need to do both of those within 90 days, but you can. So initially, you go ahead and get your personal card, okay, your credit card. After getting your personal credit card, I do recommend possibly getting a then a charge card simultaneously and just hang on to those first two, the first 90 days, okay? After 91 days, what you're going to do is then apply for your first business card with American Express as well, such as the Hilton card, such as the Delta Card, whichever one you want. Again, even if you do not have an LLC or an incorporation, you can apply for your business card as what you call a sole proprietor. Reason being that money, that business card does not show up on your what? Personal credit, y'all. So after those 91 days, you're going to get the same cycle again. You're going to get two credit cards at that time within that 91 days. So the first initial step, you could have had one card for 15000 and another one for 10,000. That was 25,000 in the first 90 days. The second time around, because again, even though it's a platinum card or a gold card, those cards do have limits. They just don't show them. You have a spending limit. So let's just say the gold card was worth 10,000 and your blue cash was 15,000. So that's how you had 25,000. The second time around, let's just say you had a $10,000 Hilton card on the business. That's great. So that's now 10 more thousand. And this time around, they gave you another credit card for 15,000. You choose what you want. Now you have $60,000. And guess what, y'all? 91 days. And you're just going to repeat that cycle every 90 days. Now, again, what you do not want to do, though, attempt, don't ask for credit line increases with American Express. Allow them to do your credit line increases because whenever you go over thirty thousand dollars on one card, they will tend to ask you for proof of income. As long as you have proof of income, you have nothing to worry about. But they will do an audit if you have more than thirty thousand dollars on one particular card. OK, this is how you get up to one hundred thousand dollars in a 12 month cycle. It's very easy to do with American Express. And then after that, you just repeat that cycle. And after 12 months, you could easily have eight cards with american express in excess of a hundred plus thousand dollars very easily okay hey y'all let's go get this money but again no i only shake hands with my destiny if you shake hands with yours let's get it let's go